Hi all folks, this is a beautiful day here in San Francisco. Um, so I've got the, uh, I don't know what this is, I think it's the Galaxy Note. So let's do an unboxing video. Yes, it's the Galaxy Note. And uh, comes in a small box. Small box. This is the international unlocked version. Uh huh. It says locked. Look at it. It's actually unlocked, but they they um, took it out, so it looks like it's locked. This is the 16 gigabyte version. Um, this is actually the one I recommend, um, and it comes with a a charging travel charger that converts it to American standard 110 volt. Um, let me see here. Android smartphone and uh, it comes with Ucore 1.4 gigahertz Zynos processor S Pen. Um, so the Korean version that I tried had 1.5 gigahertz but this one comes 1.4 which is not too bad. Um, so that I have the seal here, so let's break it. And, uh, woo, it's a mighty, mighty phone here. What we've got here. So I've got the unboxing of the Galaxy Note. It's like one of my happiest days of my life. Uh, and it comes with a battery, um, USB charger. Um, the wall adapter and also earbuds. Nice. I always love Samsung earbuds. They always ship it with it, and that's it. Um, so let me put the box on the side real quick, and let's unbox. Unbox. So this cost me six hundred fifty dollars. Unbox, and I've got the center button. For the international version, the U.S. versions will get four buttons due to at Apple's patent on in the U.S. Um, and let's open up the back. And let's put the battery in. And I will actually show you that um, it should work on both T-Mobile and AT&T. But we'll first boot it up using my. Galaxy, AT&T Galaxy S2's SIM card here. Um, certainly an exciting day. Um, you know, better than doing those ramen Korean noodles videos, right? Anyway, exciting day. Um, put the battery in. And let me put the case back in. Power it on here. Power on. This thing is huge. All right, Galaxy Note, and I'll compare it to my 4.5 inch um, Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch to show you the size. It's basically a giant version of <laughs> this one, um, but it's about. It's just as thin as my Epic 4G Touch, as you can see here. It's just a bigger screen. Um, so it's in another language. Let me change it to English. So this must be actually a unit sold in in the Europe. All right. Um, let me sign in real quick, and I'll go through this. So I'm getting data, but uh, I'm not getting um, 3G or 4G. Um, this is usually because the access point names. Um, usually what you can do is just set a name, just uh, whatever, <laughs> and it should actually set it automatically for AT&T, but we'll try it, see if that works, and save, APN, um, just put, ah, let me go look it up real quick, yes, the, um, APN for AT&T is wap.singular.com. And I don't think you have to actually set anything else. Let me see if that works. That should get us um, 3G, 4G. 
Is it now? All right, it should pop up real soon here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go fill it all out real quick. Um, well, might, might as well walk you through here. Um, APN should be wap dot singular. Whoops. Like that. Let me see if that works. Usually after you do that, it should it should pop up, but it doesn't. Oh, it does. It does. See, you don't actually have to fill any of it. So I got HSPA. Oops. Go back. So got data on it. That's how you do it on unlocked phones. You just put uh, WAP dot singular, and I've got internet um, here. HSPA plus. All right. So that's the phone. Um, let me go sign in to Google Maps uh, or Google Market and download Quadrant real quick. So I'm gonna do a Quadrant test, even though it's sinking right now. Um, I think in Gadget reported about four thousand on stock. So let's see, let's run that. But I love this thing. It's beautiful. Um, it's huge. Um, the screen is great. Because it's so huge. Um, I will be showing you the um, where is the pen? I can't find the pen here. The pen is located at the bottom here. Let me take the pen out for you. This is the called the S pen. It's not a regular stylus um, because it's a it's got a pressure sensitive thing here. So it's you know if you press it hard, it's gonna actually draw harder. Which is the um, the Korean version has a an antenna for um, DMB TV. So I've got scores here running off 3465. Um, not too shabby. I'm sure if I run it a couple more times, I'll get 4,000. Um, but take a look at this. You get the five by five rows. It's this thing is huge. It's very very responsive, um, as you can see. It's supposed to be faster than the Galaxy S2 series. Um, of course, the memo is the coolest part. So let me zoom in and really show you what. Well, I'll have more videos, but, um, all right, let's do a new memo. This is like what I really want it to do. Um, let me see if I can change colors. There we go. I will draw an OD for you real quick on this unboxing video. Um, so let me draw an OD real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, demo fail. I don't know why it's not. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Just gotta work out the kinks here. Let me. Actually, not. It's actually a bit of a lock lag. Um, I think it's because my I just signed into Google and it's sinking. Let me see. Ah. Get rid of this. Let's put some power widgets in there. Power control. Um, yeah, let me turn the sink off. It's trying to sink everything right now. Let's start over here. Cancel. Try another one. Let's try another OD here. Um, here we go. Oh, you know what? My hand's hitting it. That's probably why. Okay. Now I got it. Because um, I'm in a slightly awkward angle. Because I have the camera here with me. Um, so, it's just still. I, don't know, I think I keep touching the screen. Why can I not? Okay, this demo fail. Hello. You know what? <laughs> this is a very bad unboxing video. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, um, but I seem to have be having some problems here. Anyway, let me 
just finish my OD here and let me let me give him one more ear. Change the color. Um, where is it? Where is brown? Ah. Okay, I think that was brown right there. Alright, that's fine. So we got Odie's color. Oh, you know what? There's actually a button here. No wonder. There's a button here. Um, if you press it, oh, if you press it, it won't draw. Oh, there's a button. Sorry, that's what I was doing. Idiot, huh? Anyway, we learn something new every day. Nothing, nothing is stupid. All right, let's do yellow. Um, so I, I've got to just make sure not. I, forget, I don't know what that button is. I gotta go read the instructions. But here we go. So I've got the OD. And the one I tried in Korea had pressure sensitive, but I don't see any pressure sensitive points here, so I don't know what, what's going on there. So when I press this button, okay. Well, I'll play with it, but let's save that. Um, so that's my first note on my uh, Galaxy Notes. Um, this is going to be really cool for jotting down notes. Let me see if I can do landscape here. Oh, good. Um, maybe I'll be writing like some notes, like um, you know, I have ideas like business ideas, ideas. Um, this is why I got it, so I can jot notes down. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll have these notes like this is the box going to my new site. Um, root. Um, galaxy note dot com. So it's I do see a little bit of lag, but um I don't know. I'm gonna go try to overclock root it and overclock it, and also it's kind of syncing right now. It's I've got a ton of email and contacts, so that's probably it. That's probably why. But uh, let me show you around these stock apps here. Um, my files to keys there. It's pretty much the same as um, Galaxy S2. Um, there's a S choice. I don't know what that is. Check it out. Okay, skip. Okay, some kind of Samsung apps. Um, but I'm getting very good signal HSPA plus, uh, which is AT&T's 4G. Um, so as promised, let me go load up the um, T-Mobile. SIM card and see if it works on that too. I'll be right back. So let's let's swap out SIM card from my T-Mobile. Um, I heard I'm hearing that I heard that it's actually compatible with the um, the T-Mobile too. Not sure. We'll find out. If that's the case, then for all of you T-Mobile and AT&T users. You don't have to wait for the subsidized versions, which is going to suck anyways, in my opinion. So I got this. Um, and just insert your SIM card. T-Mobile is on a different frequency for 3G. Um, but let's see if Samsung's unlocked version supports both T-Mobile and AT&T. <sighs> which I hope so. so we're going to boot. And I'll be showing you another another look at the um comes with a camera flash um pretty big so this is versus the galaxy s2 on t-mobile which is the same size as the um the sprints galaxy s2 and also i've got the at&t which is pretty much exactly similar to the original galaxy s2 um so it's just about thin as a galaxy s2 maybe even slightly thinner um, but a whole lot larger. So, let me see. Oh, let me show you that lock screen again. That was kind of cool. I've got a... Okay, that's just a lock screen. Um, so I'm not getting anything there. Oh. Um, so it seems like it doesn't support T-Mobile. Otherwise, we would at least... Well, you know what? Maybe I inserted it wrong. Because we should at least be getting voice. Voice should still work. Um, maybe I insert it wrong. Yeah. 
There is no SIM card that comes with the, the uh, this device. Um, this one is rated 2,500 milliamps per hour. I'll try it one more time. I'll be right back. Reboot this. Hi, all folks. So T-Mobile is a no-go. Um, I think the international version doesn't even support voice, which is fine. Just you know, just don't get this unlocked version if you're on um, T-Mobile. Anyway, um, I, I'll show you um, how it fits in my pocket before I even play. Go to my Lala Land for the rest of the day and play with this phone, but. Um, let me put it in my pocket, and I'll show you real quick here. Hi folks, so this is my pocket. I've got my lighter here. Um, so I'm going to put an AT&T um, Galaxy S2 in here. And let me adjust the camera here real quick. And you can see that um, it barely, you can barely feel it. That's why I love the Galaxy S2. As you can barely feel it, it's so thin. Um, but let's try it with the um, Galaxy Note now. It's, this thing is huge. Actually, you know what? It's a little bit bigger, but because it's so thin, it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like I have a big, you know, and I've, I've got pretty small pockets in my jeans, but it fits fine, you know. And usually I carry two phones, so I've got the, um, this is the sprint version so it doesn't really make that much difference you know now it's and the weight is like almost similar um, oops so not too bad anyway I'm, I'll go play with it all day long today and I'll have a full review um, subscribe that was the unboxing of um, the international unlock version of Galaxy Note hell yeah baby the future is here see y'all